Hello there, welcome everybody. It's Don here once more with another magical illusion box. Uh, it's for you to make. I'll give you all the information, all the sizes, everything you need to know about making um, a substantial magic trick like this. Um, I'll dem try to <laughs> I'll try to demonstrate it. It's very difficult to do though by uh, uh, looking through the camera and um, and performing the uh, the trick. So what we've got is um, a, a very tall, big black box, nice and shiny on the front. Um, we take the box, the front of the box away. Um, inside we've got a large object on a piece of string. Now what is impossible is that there are two holes in the center section and the top section that are obviously smaller than our object. Um, we know that we can show that uh, that won't pass through the hole. Um, we can try as we might, it will not pass. And we can even lift the whole box up, showing that uh, the object is a lot larger than the hole. So what we do is we put the front back on and then I have to adjust the, uh, the camera so you can see what I'm doing. We can slowly lift the, lift the object. Oh, like so. There we go. And then when we take the front off, we see that the object has passed through the small hole. Okay, <laughs> so that's the trick. That's what it's all about. And we can show again that uh, the hole is a lot smaller than our object. So it's called the, the squeeze through um, magic trick. So I'll show you exactly how I went about making it. I'll give you all the dimensions and stage step-by-step -step instructions and uh, we'll see how we get on. Okay, let's make a start then. Uh, first of all, we need a long, tall box. Um, it, if, if we're going to make one, we might, we might as well make a big one. It's no good making little tiny things fiddling around with fingers. Let's, let's make a a big one so everyone can see. So uh, four pieces of card, three millimeters thick. If you can get hold of three millimeter thick card, all well and good. Nice and sturdy, perfect for making uh, things like this. And you can cut with a sharp knife and a steel ruler if you're careful. Don't cut your fingers. Uh, so ideally three millimeter thick card. Uh, we need uh, four pieces. Uh, two of the pieces need to be 12 inches by five inches. Okay, and the other two, 12 inches by four and three quarter inches. And if you work in metric, that's 305 millimeters by 127 and 305 by 121. Okay, so four pieces of card on two of the on the on the two five inch wide pieces measure three sixteenths in from the edge and draw a line. I will explain why in a moment. And on on the uh, one of the four and three quarter inch wide pieces or one hundred and twenty seven millimeters wide uh, draw a border all the way around we're going to cut this out this is going to be the front of the box so we can see inside uh, and it needs to be three eighths of an inch or nine millimeters in from the side all the way down both sides and half an inch at the top and half an inch at the at the top and the bottom uh, 12 in, 12 millimeters uh, I've just used a, a, a paint pot lid 
just to make a, a slight radius, just to make it look a bit more interesting uh, on the corners there. So we need to cut this out, this shape, and then that will be on the front. And the reason we've got these lines here is the front is going to line up with those lines. So it's going to be set back, if you will, like that. It's going to be set back from the front. Okay. And then the back will just go on as normal. Just an ordinary uh, 90 degree join there. Um, you can use PVA glue, but uh, white, uh, white glue, white wood glue but it takes such a long time to dry. Uh, so I use um, a hot melt glue gun, which is fantastic because it, it dries immediately and you can get on quite, uh, quite quickly. So we'll go ahead and make the box and uh, we'll go from there. There we go. I've stuck my four sides together with the uh, cutout in the front there and set back from the front. I've set it on, on a base, a six inch square base, uh, just to keep it nice and square. Uh, so um, just another piece of card and just stuck it straight on the top. Um, now we need a, a box to go inside. Um, the, the illusion is that something... Oh, wrong way. <laughs> oh my goodness me. That's it. The illusion is something uh, as big as this can't possibly pass through a small hole. Uh, so the illusion is that um, we make a box that slides up and down. So when that's at the top, there's another shelf there and it will look as though the object has passed through the hole. But all will become apparent uh, later on when we actually make it. Uh, so I've, because we've got such a, a, a big um, um, trick, uh, a, a box, <laughs> it's it's quite substantial, quite large. We, we can have a, a nice big hole there and then choose something quite large as well that uh, quite impossi impossibly will not go through there. So uh, choose... A, 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 a nice big hole that's uh, 25 millimeters one inch one inch hole and then something quite substantial obviously that will not pass through <laughs> have you got all that good um, so we need uh, two side pieces that will go in there like that um, they are of a certain height that when we see this at that height when our box slides up the other piece needs to be in exactly the same place so that's why we cut these uh, four and a half inches which is that diameter on the inside it's diameter uh, width that width there is four and a half inches we need two of these four and a half inches and the important length is uh, 15, 5 and 15 sixteenths. So it's just under 6 inches. Just a fraction under 6 inches. That way, when, when it's in that position and then goes to that position, the bottom will be in the same position as the top. Okay. Um, and then the other two pieces will be four and a half inches by four and five eighths uh, and in uh, funny money that'll be 114 millimeters by 152 and then two off 114 by 117 millimeters okay so with those four then we can make uh, a box like a lift that will go up and down inside our lift shaft okay and I've also made a top for it when we're ready I need to uh, put a hole in the middle there but that will sit on the top 
just a little bit proud of the sides just to make it look a little bit more interesting and only as far as the inset the front inset piece because we're, we're going to slide slide a, um, a front down the front there we've got two pieces to go on the side and then we can slide a, a piece in the front so you can't see what's going on inside okay but for now we'll make this box so we've got these four pieces we've got the sizes four and a half by five and fifteen sixteenths okay i'll make those up make that up and uh, back in a moment so we have the inside now uh hole at the top hole at the bottom just a four-sided uh, four-sided box and that will hopefully now slip into there like that so that will go up and down quite easily now then uh, one other thing i've done is i've put some narrow uh, pieces on the front stuck them to the to the very front of the of the box uh, I think half an inch wide 12 millimeters wide so that I can slip my front in like that so no one can see what's going on inside like that and I, I've left it a little proud at the top there so that it's easy to uh, easy to handle and what i shall do when i i paint it black <laughs> i shall paint it black and then put these on the front like that that'll make it look a lot uh, a lot more interesting i just happen to have these left over from another another project Okay, so that's the front. The uh, item I shall use to try to get through through the holes there, or sit up through that hole there, and then I've got the top like so, which I need to stick on. <laughs> up, down, up, down. And that will be the basics then of the uh, of the illusion then okay so when the front is on that will lift up like so so now what we need to do uh, we've got we've got the hole at the bottom so although that will be painted black and probably no one will see i've kept the insert from the uh, hole that I cut out so the, uh, the the circle that I cut out I should put in there uh, when that is painted black you absolutely will not see that that's at the bottom and in any case that will be covering it also so you won't even see it then only when you start lifting up just to demonstrate maybe someone could see inside but when that's painted black it won't be seen so i shall stick the uh the circle down stick that so that when that comes up it will stay there but like i say when it's black no one will see it honestly <laughs> um what else I think that's all. I can finish it off, I believe, now. I don't... Oh, sorry, yes. Oh, dear, no. <laughs> this is... Uh, most important thing. Um, when the... When the inner box is at its lowest, well, sitting on the bottom like that, um, I've drilled a very small hole at the back. You might just be able to see that. Again, when that's painted black, it would disappear. And it's the end of a, a barbecue stick. And when I push that in, this won't move. It won't go up and down. Uh, so it means that when you demonstrate uh, 
the hole you can actually lift the whole thing up you can lift it up and uh, that will prove to your audience then that uh, it's a fixed center there uh, so obviously when you're ready to lift just ease the uh, ease the stick out and it will it will go up and I've also done another one at the top there all right so so when when the uh, lift is at its highest I'll push that in and it won't slip back down it will stay in that position <laughs> okay they're the only two things that uh, uh, I, I've just uh, added actually just to, to make the uh, the trick work a bit better so I'll uh, paint it up or spray it up with an aerosol spray uh, black inside uh, this will have this will be on the front uh, stick the top on and uh, I think that will be about it so I'll go away and do all that and I'll be back in a moment Okay, there we are. I've finished the illusion, painted it all black, or sprayed it all black. Put those lovely uh, sparkly bits on the front. It looks all very um, theatrical now. So uh, take that off. And I, I know it's all black inside and difficult to see the holes, but if you demonstrate it with your, your, your finger sticking up through there, and also the fact that this won't pass through the hole, and also by lifting it it's uh, pretty pretty obvious that uh, the hole is smaller than the object uh, so well I won't demonstrate it again but uh, that's the finished box if I can get the front on there we go that's the finished box um, have a go yourself um, if you do please let me know I'd like to know how you get on or if you make any adjustments or refinements to it, I'd like to know. Uh, in the meantime, again, please subscribe to the channel and uh, I'll see you again in the next video.